welcome back students as you know that we were studying the topic that was message writing in our previous live class we studied that what is message writing okay we have already know that a message is based on a telephonic conversation between two people okay and the receiver pick out the most important or essential information and conveys to the person for whom it is intended okay that was the definition of message writing and in that one we came to know that who is caller and who is the second person and who is the third one means caller is the first person who is calling okay as we have seen in the example this one ashok is the caller vikas is the receiver okay and there is third person to whom ashok wanted to talk but ajay was not there that is why vikas have got the message and ajay will forward to him okay these were the three person first one caller and the second one receiver of the call and the third one was for whom the message is being given okay and there were some important points which we have to keep in mind while writing a message okay the first point was only the most essential details should be given and after that word limit that should not be 50 words okay and the message should always be outlined okay and as you can see we have already understand we have already understood the question okay that the question was that ashok was wanting to talk with mr ajay but mr ajay was not there his brother okay his brother received a call and he got the message from ashok that his brother has to return his ancient history book to the library because the session was ended okay now the task was that as vikas we have to compose a message for ajay is not in not more than 50 words carrying all important information given by mr ashok okay and after that we also discussed the format of message writing right at first we write down the message and in all letter capital and after that date in the next line in the correct format and after that time and then the salutation word and then the content and at last the receiver's name okay now look at this one at first as usual we have written the message okay this one m e w -S, s a g e and all these letters should be in capital okay and after that we have written date in correct format means the month name not the month number okay and after that time we have written there okay we will move back and uh, we will try to find out that the time was given in the question or not okay can you see that is there any time given in the question you will find out that there will be no time okay time is not given in the question so you can write down on your own you can write down whatever time you want to write so i have written here 10 am okay and after that we need to write down salutation as you know that dear father dear brother okay just a minute salutation this is the heading there okay and we are writing this time ajay is writing to his brother uh, sorry vikas is writing to his brother so he can directly write down ajay or he can write down dear ajay whatever he want to write down okay it depends on you that you can also simply write down ajay or dear ajay and after that after writing the uh, salutation and you need to write down the content part this is an important one okay you have got as a vikas you have got all the information okay the information was that ashok the library in charge of your school okay that was given there look at the we'll move to the question that who was calling there ashok okay 
and who was a library in charge of his brothers means of vikas's brothers library in charge okay that is why we have written here like this ashok the library in charge of your school called to inform you that the session has ended and you have to return the book named ancient history by tomorrow morning okay i think you have understood one thing that all the information you have to get from the question okay all these in, all this information was given there you can see in this line like that session has ended he has to return the book name ancient history there it is okay by tomorrow morning and this is the same thing we have written in the answer like this one session has ended and you have to return the book named ancient history by tomorrow morning we have written this line as it is but only we have changed the pronouns okay and after that you know that you have to write down your name at last have you got that in the format we have understood that there we have to write down the person to whom the message is being convert, uh, the, uh, conveyed okay means that person was ajay because mr ashok wanted to talk to ajay okay that is why you will write down that name and at last we have always we always have to write down the name of receiver okay i think all of you have got that Okay, now we will move next we have another question for practice you can see here the question is that read the conversation given below and compose a suitable message okay as you can see as you can see there mr gupta is telling can i talk to mr rahul sharma okay as you know that the caller okay i am writing in short caller is mr gupta okay and he want to talk to mr rahul sharma have you got that mr gupta is calling and he want to talk to rahul sharma but rahul sharma is not there that is why aman has received the call so it is the responsibility of aman to get the information from mr gupta and convey it to mr rahul sharma okay so what aman said we will find out in the second line i am sorry he is not here i am his son aman okay mr sharma was not in the home that is why he was not able to pick the phone so his son aman pick up the phone okay and what happens next now mr gupta is telling that i am mr gupta calling from your father's office to inform that your father has to attend a meeting tomorrow with some clients so tell him to call me back okay so mr gupta told aman that aman's father okay aman's father have to attend a meeting tomorrow okay with some clients and mr gupta also told him to call him back that is the question and that is the information aman has got from mr gupta now it is the duty of aman to convey that message to rahul sharma his father okay and after that aman said sure and mr gupta also said thanks that is the question i think you have understood the question that mr gupta is the caller and he wanted to talk to mr rahul sharma okay but rahul sharma was not in the home that is why his son aman pick up the phone and he got the information from mr gupta that his father has to attend a meeting tomorrow and he also mr gupta also told him to call him back that is the question okay now there it is as aman compose a message for mr rahul sharma giving him all essential details given by mr 
गुप्ता एज यू नो दैट द रिसीवर विल ऑलवेज राइट अ मैसेज टू कन्वे द इन्फॉर्मेशन विच वी हैव गॉट फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट पर्सन एंड ही विल कन्वे टू द थर्ड पर्सन द थर्ड पर्सन इज देयर मिस्टर राहुल शर्मा ओके ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस क्वेश्चन अगेन फर्स्ट पर्सन द फर्स्ट मैन इज देयर मिस्टर गुप्ता अमन इज द सेकेंड मैन एंड थर्ड मैन इज राहुल शर्मा हैव यू गॉट इट ओके नाउ वी विल मूव टू द आंसर एज यू कैन सी ऑन योर स्क्रीन ओके यू विल राइट डाउन द डेट ओके एट फर्स्ट यू विल राइट डाउन मैसेज एज यूजल यू डू एम ई एस एस ए जी ई ऑल दिस लेटर शुड बी इन कैपिटल एंड आफ्टर दैट यू विल राइट डाउन द डेट इन करेक्ट फॉर्मेट विद मंथ नेम ओके एंड आफ्टर दैट यू विल राइट डाउन टाइम द टाइम इज नॉट गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन ओके सो यू कैन राइट डाउन वट एवर टाइम यू वॉन्ट टू राइट ओके एंड आफ्टर दैट दैट सैल्यूटेशन वर्ड ओके सो वी हैव रिटर्न हियर डियर फादर बिकॉज एज अमन यू आर राइटिंग दिस मैसेज ओके यू आर कन्वेइंग दिस मैसेज टू यूर फादर दैट इज वाई यू हैव रिटर्न द थर्ड पर्सन देयर एंड द थर्ड पर्सन वॉज अमन फादर सो अमन हैज रिटर्न डियर फादर द सैल्यूटेशन इज कम्प्लीटेड नाउ नाउ दिस इज द कंटेंट पार्ट ओके इन द कंटेंट पार्ट यू हैव टू गिव द इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन विच यू हैव रिसीव्ड मीन्स विच अमन हैव रिसीव्ड फ्रॉम मिस्टर गुप्ता ओके सो दैट इज वाई अमन विल कन्वे ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन टू हिज father that is why he is writing as a aman you could write down like this mr gupta called from your office means aman is telling to his father okay that mr gupta called from your office to inform you that you have to attend a meeting tomorrow with some clients okay he also told to call him back Okay, means whatever information you have got from this question. Okay, this is the information you have got from Mr. Gupta. This is the information you have got, and uh, you have to pick all the important ones and write down in the answer. That is what we have tried to do here. That uh, Mr. Gupta called. Uh, called from your office and to inform you that you have to attend a meeting tomorrow with some clients he also told to call him back this was the essential information this was the important information which mr gupta gave to aman okay as you know that the word limit is around 50 words okay and we should mention all the important details only Okay, that is why we have tried to make it very short. Have you got it? Okay, now we will move next. Now there is a practice question for you. Okay, this is a homework. This is a homework for you. The question is that read the following conversation carefully. Okay. the first person is telling the first person is ram okay and he is telling them i am ram a friend of mohan where is he okay he directly introduced himself and told that he is the friend of mohan okay and he wanted to talk to mohan have you got that ram called and directly he said that he want to talk to mohan and he is mohan's friend but mohan is not at the home that is why sohan is receiving the call okay what is sohan saying now he has gone to the market can i help you please so this time sohan is receiving the call and he is saying that he has gone to market okay and can i help you please and this is the important line try to understand this one this is the important sentence oh sure please convey to him that today's music classes shall remain suspended because the teacher is not well okay the same will be held on sunday could you please 
pass this message to him okay and after that sohan is telling oh sure ram after that thank you okay now the task is that as sohan okay now the task is that you are sohan now because you are the receiver there sohan was not in the home okay you are the receiver and you have received the message from ram that the musical classes will be suspended for some time because the teacher is not well okay you have to convey that message to sohan that there will be not any musical classes because the teacher is not well okay and this class will be held on sunday this is the information sohan has to convey to whom he has to convey to mohan okay have you got the question all of you i think all of you have understood it if you have any doubt okay if you have any doubt about this please ask me in the group okay and keep in mind that this is your homework okay i think all of you have understood that what is masses writing if any student have any doubt about masses writing please ask in the group okay